everyone, welcome to our event, By Ice Lighting. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the free t-shirt day event. So this is an event happening all over Azeroth. You're going to find it in your calendar on the 16th of August every year. And it tells you that you will find free t-shirts in capital cities. You will also find it outside of capital cities, and I'm going to cover this too. Um, but basically, have a look at your capital cities for Horde. I've gone to Ogrimmar, and you will find it in the Valley of Honor. You'll find it someone wandering around. You should see a star on your map, so you shouldn't have a problem locating them. Um, for Alliance, I've gone to Stormwind, and again, you'll see it on your map. Now, what do they do? Well, they basically fire t-shirts with a gun onto the floor and they look like this. So what happens is you have to loot them. So you'll see a whole bunch of people randomly stalking the person firing um, t-shirts. So you shouldn't have a problem locating the t-shirt on the floor because uh, everyone will run for it. Now, there are a whole bunch of t-shirts that you can get from doing this. Um, there are 23 that this, I, I'm going to call it a vendor, I don't know why. Here is the list that that vendor fires onto the floor. So um, double check your transmog to see if you're missing any of these and you know whether to chase this vendor around. There is also an additional thing that this vendor will give you and that is the blue free t-shirt. And basically you use this and you will receive a buff, a title that says T-shirt enthusiast. And if you haven't um, actually gone and hidden your T-shirt like I did, you will see your T-shirt. But because mine's hidden, I am just running around topless instead. Um, it hides your tabard and anything above the T-shirt. So um, if you want to see your T-shirt, make sure you've unhidden. So in addition to that, there are seven other you can get that are scattered around Azeroth. So the first one is up in Kalimdor, Everlook, Winterspring. Make your way there and you will find a vendor. Now each of these vendors sell just one and it will cost you one copper. So this one is Shirtsy's Cloth Shirt. If you make your way to Eastern Kingdoms, uh, go to Eastern Playgrounds and Lights Hope Chapel, you will find over there another vendor and this one sells the threads of Tyrion. So uh, that's another one that you can collect for one copper. Then make your way over to Outland. So this is not um, Warlords, this is Outland, Outland, Shatrath, Lower City, and you will find Selthy's silk shirt available for purchase here. Now make your way to Northrend, Grizzly Hills, and there's no exact location for this one. You can see the waypoints below, um, but basically over here um, in Grizzly Hills is where you will find a, another vendor with another shirt for you. Off to Pandaria, so make your way to Valley of the Four Wing Winds and uh, to the Silken Fields. So this is where all the moth things are, and you will find Jade's lovely shirt available over here. Next, we are going to WOD, so Warlords of Draenor, make your way to Talador and go to Kagos Tower. So you'll find this vendor here. This one wanders about, so um, look for the star on your map. It, it, you should be able to find it, no problem whatsoever. And this one sells Tia's short-sleeved, short-sleeved shirt, which is a really long name for a really weird shirt. And then finally, Legion, you need to go to Stormhine and you need to go to this area over here. Now, I say this is the last one. Currently, it's the last one. They didn't do one for BFA, Shadowlands, and so far, not Dragonflight. Don't know why they stopped. These may appear in the future, and if they do, I will do a video on it. But here is your last one. So there you have it. So I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching, and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.